Ini Alright Keisha, back to the stables for next year. <laughs> oh, Mr. Capel, they're very, very, um, very handy for spotting dog poos. <laughs> Hello, we're in a very sunny, beautiful campsite, all of 10 miles from home. I thought we'll give the van a little shake down before we head off to the Pyrenees on Thursday. So we've come with Polly. And it's just the two of us, we're solo. Steve and Chris are at Herman Fest, I think it's called. Hello, we're off on our travels again. We are going to Tucker's Grave in, in uh, well, it's Falkland. Um, yeah, so we are going to Herman Fest with fellow YouTubers, um, and I think there's quite a few YouTubers there, so we are going to meet some more. Um, we've got our friends that run the fish and chip van here, so we'll pop over later and see them, introduce you to their fish and chip van where our Sam used to work every Friday night. He used to come down here, serve out the, uh, the nuggets and the fish. Nuggets are particularly nice, so I think we'll probably have those later. Uh, we're hoping to get there by 6 p.m. I guess, Steve. 17.30 according to the new sat-nav thing. We've got a new sat -nav. Luke fitted from uh, Luke fitted from Alfred, which is brilliant. And we'll have a look at him now. Hopefully, last time I'm going to have to do this. Because uh, well, today is the day that we head off, or I head off, to finally get the head unit fixed um, or replaced. Going to Halfords because uh, it's a proper bargain, but we'll see. Um, and I'll come back. Um, and do that so I'm gonna to have to navigate with my phone uh, and it smells great in here because we have a Roaming Radford's air freshener from the show YouTube Roaming Radford's thank you so this is the problem look you remember that it, it died uh, NC 500 so January it died um, and we tried to get it solved and it couldn't get solved and it's a Zenek so we're replacing it with this one down here which is a box of Peroni no not a box of Peroni the other box that one uh, and that's what's going in but uh, I'm a bit early Right, there's a guts hanging out. Hey. <laughs> Switch works. Hey. Well, massively empty. The only way is up from here, I guess. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> I'll get, I'll get there, I will get there, <laughs> believe me. What do you do? Well, 
is finally in and it took two and a half hours. Yeah, about that. Fortunately, the, um, I reckon, well, they put this one in, they changed yeah. the outside. The outside yeah. was different, so this one sat in, to be honest with you, there was a lip on that. So, yeah. how thin that is compared to that one there, this is longer. Yeah. Which is what caused us the issues. Yeah, but, but genius. We, we did it, well, I didn't. I just sat at the back and yeah. made tea and ate things. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. <laughs> and I'll give you a little walk around of the facilities and the site here. So it's ideal for anyone coming this way or they've got the ferry pitches, which is suitable for um, the Portsmouth ferries. So it's only about a 10 minute drive from there. It's perfect. Got some ice creams for later. Really lovely, friendly people. Paul's been coming here doing some, or Ollie, as they know him. Been coming here and helping out the campers for some time. And lovely couple, they've been here for about four years running this site. It's lovely, really nice, just on the doorstep. And they've got um, a nice dog walking area. You can let the dog off the lead. Beautiful. I didn't even know you were in England, would you? At 11, 10 minutes up the road. Hello, Paul. He's about to enjoy his Browns fish and chips from our friends, Sarah and Trevor. With the little fish and chip van every Friday night down here at Rooksbury Park. What have you done? <laughs> I did, what did I tell you? You said be careful with that. I said good luck with that. That's the problem with putting an egg in my bacon roll. <laughs> I don't understand how to win it. <laughs> I think I've got something else for the wash now. <laughs> I think so. Is that comfy? Are you sitting on the cushion? I've never seen that one before, I have to say. And you've been serenaded in my bed. The other men I'm tired of walking around. Oh, you want to be like you. It's had a busy, busy, busy couple of days at Sea Work Exhibition in Southampton, which is like a commercial boat show, business to business. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great, but and uh, we've got one more day tomorrow, and then we've got Hammond Fest, so we're well, really looking forward to that. Apparently at six o'clock tonight, there is a balloon lift off, so hopefully we'll get there and we won't hit any traffic and get stuck. So yeah, join us on our travels. Please give us a like and subscribe. And uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Anything to say, Stephen? Uh, no, I'm looking forward to the first pint of cider. Oh, yeah. last spot on the council because we're a bit late. I haven't seen any evidence of balloon launching. So yeah. I don't know where we missed that. Pub. Let's go and find out. Right, Keisha. Let's go to the pub. <laughs> A beautiful balloon. <laughs> you filmed him, didn't you?
Is that somewhere? There's no basket on it, is there? Is there? Yeah. Yeah. Very pleased with himself, isn't he yeah. out there? Oh my God, I imagine. Ah, oh, thank you for serenading me in my bed. <laughs> I'm going to have a go at making a tartar for our ham and chips today. <laughs> uh, American sapphire today. Because I haven't got an oven on anything, I can't just whack the stuff in the oven. So I thought I'd do something on the top. So I've got 12 eggs ready to go in there. I've got a courgette here to chop. I'm supposed to cook the vegetables first to get all the water out. Okay. How many eggs? Twelve. A dozen? A dozen. What's that? Better. for a first attempt. A little bit caught on the butt. When we flip it over, nobody will know. Excellent. <laughs> Top with that. Hello. <laughs> 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 I think we'll have to get Keisha back in the pits on this one because she's not wagging her tail. No, no go around again. She's got the swagger. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh. <laughs> well done, Keisha. <laughs> this is in pee on the actual course. Not us. Right, in the pits, team talk. I go tell yet, so it's going to happen after nine years. Perhaps you'll win the fluffiest. Wow, maybe. Yeah. There is that category. Is there? Right, Keisha, the future of our channel depends on you. Eyes on the prize. Can I have a drink? Right. Is it scruffiest or fluffiest? Scruffiest. Oh. You're not going to win scruffiest, are you? Yeah. Right, Keisha, back to the stables for next year. It's a real hard one. Broad oak bridge. Yes. Wow.
itself. So what I'm having is an experiment with some beans. They do make a mess. I actually like them, but they're so messy that I, I just don't like them anymore. Experimenting to see if they'll cook in that too. Let's do the overshot. I'm sure plenty of people can, will tell me why that's missing a bit. There's probably something to do with it removing the non-stick from the flat pan. Maybe. But, anyway. Answers on a postcard. That sort of thing. Um, yeah. And the fact that the things don't actually warm up. Oh, is that why it's not a good idea? <clears throat> I thought they might, but it's okay, should they have? <laughs> what improvements do we think we can make to win next time? Hmm. Mhm. Mm Will we pay a bit more attention to the judges? <laughs> Could we not wee wee on the course? <laughs> hmm? What are your reflections, please, on your performance? Party <laughs> time! <laughs> 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 Thank you for serenading me in my bed. <laughs>